Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's do the interrogation. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger. And you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. Uh, a little won't hurt. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. Pod I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. But sadly, no. I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. He'll twist your words. <laughs> Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Girl. Yeah, they just breaks right in. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. Uh, it's not as if her. I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. I'll stay quiet on this one. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although, I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Uh, Cersei will be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shagger, son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. Oh, and Timid, and Chella. And the, the scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Damn. Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Alright, that 
Could have went better, I think. <laughs> Must you leave? Yeah, buddy. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. What will we do now? <laughs> now that we're... Uh, what we are. We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Uh, knock first. Oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I... I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... Talia, what's so important? It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. A snitch. A traitor. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen see? it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Let's spit it Talia, out. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. God. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. I'll do the Dahlia, right thing. I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. Ah, she's pushing this too much. I don't know. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. Fine. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. I think she's setting us up. I don't think we can trust now, her own sister. tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. So you can't even spit the name out. You've been making shit up. Hey. Oh, my lord, you scared the bloody daylights out of What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. 
back Roy when you still had a spine. Why, Royland? Why did you do it? Your father was the greatest lord I've ever known. But you! You've brought this house to ruin! You pushed me to this, Roderick. I trusted you, Royland. With my life! Cha! You'll trust anyone who makes the right noises. You know why? Because you're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Kissing Lud's ring when you knew we had to show strength. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Going to High Point without any soldiers, despite my every warning. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed! Enough, Royland! You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. So you turn your cloak? That's your answer? I'm not gonna stand by and watch you destroy this family! You're driving House Forrester the way of the Starks. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all I them. swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Oh, really? Right. Asher knows how to act. Shut your fucking mouth. Finally showing some spine. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Just sentence me and be done with it. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asha dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick. What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. And I'll tell you everything. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. I mean, you could be pissed on the sister. We need to know. Lord. I'll spare your life. Now talk. You're a bigger coward than he is. Eh, quiet. The situation is changing rapidly. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! You must protect Asher. Protect the true lord of this house. Take this traitor away. Get your hands off me. What Royland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. The Lord, what do we do? We ride for the coast, we prepare for war. Prepare the horses. We ride for the coast. There, let's get it. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Doesn't matter if Roderick's lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Hmm. Point taken.
Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher, thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. from ice. I'll hold them off. But my lord, you can't. Asher is your new lord. Yes, my lord. Roderick, go. Damn. See you, bitch. Uh. 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 You know what? F this, I'm going after it. Can I go after Griff? Why, why? Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, hey, come on, hey, come no. on, hey. Ain't going out like that. Damn, shanking him.
Damn. Whew. All right, guys. Well, that is... That gets us geared up. That is the end of episode five. We're just going to really re wait for the release for the episode six. And yeah, we're going to be killing some fools. Some righteous payback of some of these assholes. So I, I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying the videos. Keep hitting that like button, those comments. I will see you guys later. Peace.